The Maltravisus Cave is the only well-known rock shelter with cave paintings located outside the Franco-Cantabrica province. The cave's use goes on from one of the last group of hunters and harvesters that inhabited the area in the Upper Paleolithic to the producers' communities that used the cave as a sepulchral place in the Neolithic. It was discovered in 1951 when some people were working in the limestone stripe mining and they saw prehistoric ceramics. This didn't stop using the limestone and it destroyed 30 meters of the cave. Luckily, Mr. Carlos Callejo Serrano found parietal paintings in 1956. The team First Setters of Extremadura has been carrying through the first research of Maltravieso since 2002. The drawings of the prehistoric hands are the most representative things of the cave. Nowadays, Maltravieso has a catalog of 71 imprints. The cave is made up of rooms and narrow corridors of 0 0.4 to 5 meters tall. Caves have different temperature and humidity to the outside, so it creates a unique and specific microclimate for each one. The presence of living organisms and connected with the cave can bring about the damage of it. So the access to Maltravieso's cave is forbidden to visitors in order to guarantee its conservation. Therefore, there is an interpretation center where visitors can learn about the cave's history, archaeologists and paintings by mockups, recreations and projections. Also, going into the dark environment of a cavity like the one inhabited by our Paleolithic ancestors. In addition, the team First Setters of Extremadura organizes the Prehistoric Fair. It is divided into six parts, the hunting, the tools, the use of bones and wood, the fire, the art and the ceramics that explain through handicraft and documentaries the lifestyle of that time. Maltravieso's cave is considered a national historic monument and a cultural interest good.